talk. Jesus. Right, you, you How up. many excuses are you, you going to make? You got, it. you got How it. many excuses are you going to make? You got it. I'm just you wondering it, how many choices you're right. gonna make. No, nah, because listen, listen, you, listen, you, listen. All listen. of that. You're right. I'm no, no, no. Because you know what? I'm not just gonna let you walk through this whole situation by not holding yourself accountable for the people that you align yourself with and not becoming the man that you're supposed to be, which then she will follow you. It's not about finding a woman, it's you being the person that you're supposed to be, and then you're gonna attract the person that you're supposed to be with. It's your fault. It's your fault. So wait, 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 wait. You telling me that you had to align yourself, right? She aligned herself with you, right? She right here. You all of this her. alignment. <laughs> oh, she yeah, right there. All of this aligning had to happen, right? And it's and it's my fault if that don't happen. If I don't find a chick that would align with me, come on, yo, come on. She right there. You can ask her. <laughs> I hear you. I'm. I'm. You going to agree with that? So, Rita, you agree with that? Yeah, I do. So, how do you expect if you want this fantastic woman, you have to be what you are looking for? So, you have to change your way of thinking. You got to change how you do everything so that you can attract the woman that you want. So let me hold on. Wait, I got it. I got it. Let's let let's re, let's right. revise it because my story and none, right. none of that matter, right? I'm confused. No, no, no. It's cool. I got a question. You ready? You wanna you wanna have a question? All right. All right. Cool. What's going on? You hear me? What's the word, fam? Ain't not too much, man. But yeah, just to touch on a little bit that the last caller said is. You know, you you all a great uh, representation of you know black love and how it can work. Um, and we need so many more than just that. You know, that one representation. That's the thing because if you look at the track record in our communities, in in our own personal lives, uh, how many how many women before you meet that one? Really, you know what I'm saying? Like like. If it's a batting average, you 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 owe for thirty, and you you thinking this is the one I'm gonna hit out of the park. Come on, you know what I'm saying? Know, so bro. it's like I think that they, I think we be messing up. Like he said, it's, a, it's an anomaly. I think we be walking away from really good situations. We be messing it up too, though, and then we don't want to take ownership of that. It's an anomaly. <laughs> messing it up? No, just the thing. Okay, if somebody's gonna be down for you. They're going to be down for you. You know what I mean? Like, no, no, that is not true. Leave, come back. True. She's still yours. Every single thing yeah. in this world is conditional. Everything. If you go to work, you get paid. If you take care of your business, you get the rewards. If you run that 40 yard dash and you shoot the One ball and you go in the room, and you get the points, why should it be any different when it comes to relationships? Listen, this is the thing. Favorite comedian, Chris Rock. What do you say? The uh, women and babies are loved unconditionally. No conditions on that. But as far as for men, no, you are loved love based on how much you can provide. Wrong on that. And babies, babies are because, think about it. Babies are because they're into a situation that they had no choice that they was put into. But women are not loved conditionally. That is not true. They have inherent value, yes, because they can provide a, a family. They are loved unconditionally, women and babies. Now, men, on the other hand, we have to work for everything we get. You know what I'm saying? We are we never get unconditional. It's it's based on how much you can provide. If 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 at that time you was you was just a bum, come on. You you think you're gonna get married as a bum? You think your wife will marry a bum? To get married as a bum? No. It's based on what you do. You're not supposed to be getting married, period. You know what I mean? Like, you monogamy you're not is not to get the married, way. Period. It's, it's really not. Yeah, not at all. That's, it's, That's wrong. It's not a, a smart thing to do. Well, listen, let me tell you something. Let me, let, let me, let me, t let me, let me frame like it I this said, way. Like I said, y'all are a great representation. Let me, let me frame it this way. It's a fact statistical data backs up the fact that p 
people that are married are much more successful than single people. That's a fact. Number two, people that are married that have kids, the kids are 10 times less likely to be caught up in a gang, end up in jail, more likely to be successful. Like there's so many benefits. And as a matter of fact, when you think about marriage, even from a business perspective, there's over 1100 benefits that married couples have over single people that people don't even take advantage of because they're so focused on what's wrong with marriage instead of thinking about how you can use it to level up and become more successful. Trust me, I'm telling you, bro, it is one of the most opportunistic you have have things that can partner. ever happen to you is to align yourself with somebody that's going in the direction that you're going. I promise you, bro. If you if you find somebody to, to sign that contract and that you would be, you know, trust to sign it with you and actually uphold that contract. You know what I mean? Like till death. That, I mean, yeah, that's a, a beautiful thing. But like I said, that's an anomaly. That's Have you not... ever opened a business? No. Would you ever want a business? No. A legit business? Yeah. Yeah, I would. How do you know your worker is going to uphold their contract? They can come in. But think about a it. A worker they can, can come be in, replaced. They can sabotage everything. They can completely trash a business, the whole nine yards. Why do you still want to be in a business? understanding or considering that whole situation you gotta pick the right workers right i mean just like you gotta oh. pick the right wife you gotta pick the right workers That's so what, what you're telling me is that the upside is still great if you get it right which is one of the reasons why you still want to have a business a legitimate business right right so how I'm not is saying, it any okay, different look, from I mean, marriage so that's what i'm saying if as a business yeah that makes sense but as a contract, as the contract, as it stated, marriage is I don't a think business. It's for anybody. Marriage is a that's business. That's what I'm saying. As a business, period, like not take away love and, you know, all the other aspects of it, the fairy tale aspects. So happily ever after. Take that out. And yeah, no, that's you don't take it out because it come along with it. Love for somebody to find. It come with it, bro. You love for somebody to find. It's not, bro. How it's. I'm telling you, listen, listen, this is what I'm telling you. There's a reason why the most successful men in history have all been married. Every single last one of them. All of them. There has never if been a president. The it, it's only been the one president woman. in our history that has not been married. Think about if that. If you look at the richest women, the richest, what, five women, I think. They are all rich from divorce but you thinking about it the richest you're women, thinking about it no I'm, the, I'm telling you think about it no no this no facts. okay all right let's use that let's use your example because you looking at it you looking at the glass half empty thing right let's you let's use your example i would venture to say for example let's look at Mackenzie scott jeff bezos ex-wife right one of the richest women in the world correct how does she get rich You mean how much in a divorce did she get? What what if I told you? How did she you get that, to be the richest? What if I told you that how did she get to be the richest woman in the world? Yeah. Divorce. What if I told and, you and that also, she was actually fighting? what if I told you that she was Bill the Gates reason played. why she divorce. was the reason why Amazon's books in its inception, in its early years, she was actually the accountant, the secretary and all of these other things, but she only gets credit for being his wife. She was one of the foundation and the founding members of the company is one of the reasons why she wind up getting what she got out of divorce. What if I told you that? What if, what if I, told I told you it's you a possibility? Black woman wait, wait, wait. Has never if I told married. you that it's a possibility? What if I told you the richest black woman has never gotten married? Hold on, hold on. Richest black woman you take in America one has never gotten married. person out of the entire entire thing we said we was going to stick with Mackenzie scott what if i told you that it's a possibility that amazon in its current state would never exist the way that it is today if she had not played a role to a t would that change your mind wasn't he, the, wasn't he the ceo what do you mean was he not the ceo already she was the person that pushed him to even start amazon in the first place but see you don't understand because you've never 
give me that um that invent and wander book. The invent and wander right next to he wasn't crushing the CEO. it. Nope, nope, down, down, over, right, yep, that right there. But that's what I'm saying. If, if I, you if need I to got read a company this, bro. and somebody comes along, you need to read and, this and tells me, hey, hold on, hold on, hold on. What I'm saying is, you you're gonna have to read really? this and get a better understanding instead of just leaning on the things that people are saying because they don't understand how marriage empowered him to be more successful, which is why he never whined about giving her what it was that he gave her because he understand the role that she played and him becoming successful from a business perspective in the first place. You looking at it the wrong way. You almost saying, hey, she got this much, but what if he never would have became a billionaire in the first place if she didn't play her role? I, I'll give you... I'm not even going to talk about Jeff Bezos. I'm a millionaire. I'm, I'm a millionaire talking to you right now. I will tell you that my wife playing her role to a T in all of the companies that I started, all of them, I'm talking about my restaurants, even how I designed the entire layout, the curation of the menu, her bringing me business by aligning herself with other wives of guys that I wind up doing business with. I will tell you that I was going to be successful no matter what, but she exaggerated my success by playing her role to a T. Would that then change your perspective? Would it change your perspective if your wife I'm told you that you, without that success, you wouldn't have got her? Would that change your perspective? What do you mean? She got with me when I was broke. Or, or it would be a different woman sitting there. Is all I'm saying. About? I'm not, hold I'm on, not hold on, hold on, hold on. Away from you, she knew me when bro, I had I'm not nothing. Away from you, bro. She knew me when I had nothing. What I'm saying is, and it then I went broke. That's all I'm saying. Wait, wait. She knew you me when still I had be nothing. A millionaire. Wait, wait, listen, listen. You would listen. still be a millionaire. Listen, listen. It would be a different woman. Sitting listen. There. That's all I'm she, saying. She knew me when I had nothing. And then I went. have been different. Listen to me. Listen to what I'm saying. I went broke. We moved into my mother's basement. I got all of my cars repossessed and she was right there like, yo, we here to the death and we about to build this up. So what are you talking about? Man, that's what's up. That's a love story right there. No, that's that's, that's me, you that's me that? being intentional, me being a person that I'm supposed to be as far as leading my family and, and, and empowering us by saying, this is how we going to move. We going to be what we supposed to be, but I have to be the man that I'm supposed to be first. And then she followed me, which enabled us to be able to be successful as a couple exponentially. But you can't go into it with the mindset. And, and you know what? Here's the here's the biggest thing. This is the biggest takeaway. If you're going into it with the mindset that marriage is not the thing, then stop having sex and stop having babies too. You cool with that? <laughs> I'm not having no babies, man, but to not have sex, come on. You, that's so denying you something that's human. So you don't think that you human. have a responsibility. That's, that's innately human. So wait, wait, wait. You don't think that you have a responsibility for how you affect other people. To pull out. This is, you're not ready, fam. <laughs> you're just not ready, bro. You're not ready. Yo, I'm telling you. It's, what are you saying? I'm not ready for. I'm telling you. Look, you have something. You're that's not. Res you're not ready for the responsibility room. that comes along with a, even a having sex. The percentage bro. of people who will find that, and the percentage of people who do find that, and it's not arranged or it's not something that's all about the money, all about the business. More than likely, she wouldn't have been with you before. Had that happened. You know, before time, you didn't before hear the story. Her, you didn't hear it when didn't I said that I turned her down. No, you said you I lost. chose not you to take you her virginity. It. That mean you had it. If you lost it, that mean you had it. That's what I'm saying. She coming over your house. That whole part of the story. Yeah, I heard all of that. What I'm saying is, I was is, living with my mom. I was in factors. high school, bro. What are you talking about? Oh, man, you're not what are you getting talking it, about. All right, if you was a project baby, if you was a project kid, you get what I'm saying. In the PJs, I was in Detroit it's a on Eight Mile and Liver Noise. I wasn't in no mansion. What you talking about? House is a house, man. What are you talking? Jesus, right, you, you how up. many excuses are you gonna make? You got, it. you got. How it. many excuses are you gonna make? You got it. Bro. I'm just you wondering it, how many excuses you right. gonna make. No, nah, because listen, listen, you. listen, listen. All listen. of that. You're right. I'm no, no, no. Because you know what? I'm not just gonna let you walk through this whole situation by not holding yourself accountable for the people that you align yourself with. 
and not becoming the man that you're supposed to be, which then she will follow you. It's not about finding a woman. It's you being the person that you're supposed to be and then you're going to attract the person that you're supposed to be with. It's your fault. It's your fault. So wait, 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 wait. You telling me that you had to align yourself, right? She aligned herself with you, right? She right here. You all of this her. alignment. Well, <laughs> she yeah, right there. All of this aligning had to happen, right? And it's and it's my fault if that don't happen. If I don't find a chick that would align with it, come on, yo, come on. She right there. <laughs> you can ask her. I hear you. I'm. I'm. You gonna agree with that? So, Rita, you agree with that? Yeah, I do. So, how do you expect if you want this fantastic woman, you have to be what you are looking for? So, you have to change your way of thinking. You got to change how you do everything so that you can attract the woman that you want. So let me hold on. Wait, I got it. I got it. Let's let let's re, let's right. revise it because my story and none, right. none of that matter, right? I'm confused. No, no, no. It's cool. I got a question. You ready? You wanna you wanna have a question? All right, All right okay. cool. Can you paint the picture of your ideal woman? My ideal woman? Yeah, the chick, the chick that you would want that you think that would be dope. What 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 is this ideal woman? Paint the picture for me, please. She she got to be, you know, chill like me, you know, gracious of humor, funny, beautiful, of course, you know what I'm saying, thick, that would be awesome. Uh, know how to cook, you know what I mean? I already know how to cook, but if she can cook better than me, that would be awesome. Uh, you know what I'm saying? Clean, but not like no neat freak, you know what I'm saying? Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, not like organizing the cereals type shit, you know what I'm saying? I mean, like, you know, just shit tidy, you know what I'm saying, uh, can have a conversation opinionated like me, you know what I'm saying, I don't want to buy dumb, you know, I don't want no earth, earth, you know what I mean, uh, you know, inspirational, somebody who, you know, she I can bounce these ideas off. So let me summarize it. She got to be beautiful, mm -hmm. inspirational, she got to yeah, be able to cook, cool she got to align with your purpose, right. clean, not be too neat though, not to be too needy, Man. she got to be all of these things, right? I mean, the this sound like that's ideal. This sound like you a, said ideal. This sound like somebody that can <laughs> not right, but this sound like somebody that can answer a Miss America question, right? Yeah. And you prepared to take care of that. You you built to be able to truly nurture that, and not mess that up. No, no, I never said that. This is ideal. So what are we talking about? Though? You get what I'm saying, like. In a fantasy world, right? No, that's this what, is that's real what life. Ideal means. You can have that. Uh, no. No, no, no. This no, is what no. I'm telling right. you, though, bro. You, you can have that if you are the man that you're supposed to be. It's not far-fetched, bro. No, it's not. You can have all of that, bro. You can have no, that. We, all right. Hold up. Hold up. Hold up. Hold up. You telling me that it's based on me? Yes. Yes. You don't think you control your All own right. fate, bro? So wait, 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 wait. Why? Okay. So you think your fate is controlled by yourself? Yes. I determine. So you don't believe in God? It's according to what I put in. Listen, everything. Even if you, even if you want to go biblically. Everything is conditional in the Bible. Everything, bro, is if you do this, then this, that, and so. Everything is conditional. So it's all based mm -hmm. off the work you put in. If you want to get built, you can get built. If you want to get rich, you can get rich. But it's all about you being intentional. It's never based off of any other circumstance outside of you putting yourself in a position of power. I always live my life based off something that I learned from my high school principal. She said, word for word, success is when opportunity meet preparation. If you're not prepared for when the opportunity present itself and it pass you by, you can't then complain about the circumstances that come along with it. If you not the man that you were supposed to be when that opportunity presented itself. It's your fault. 
Anything that you don't have, Absolutely. if you're not rich, it's your fault. If you don't have a chick that you're supposed to be with and she don't align with it, it's your fault. When you take ownership and responsibility of your situation, you have different results. Every single dude that I know and I coach, I just talked to a guy, honest to God, one week ago. When he first got with me a month and a half ago, he was bucking against me. He was like, yo, Anton, I don't see it. I can't do it. I can't. You a needle in the haystack, so on and so forth. Honest to God, hand on my daughter. A week and a half ago, I just had a conversation with him because he started putting into place the stuff that I was doing, that I was telling him to do a month ago. A week and a half ago, he told me he closed a million dollar deal. He not closing that million dollar deal unless he's intentional and he do what he's supposed to do. It's his fault. Good or bad, it's his fault. And the minute that he took accountability and ownership of his situation, his life changed. It's his fault. Good or bad. You get the resort, you get the rewards, or you get the, the lump of coal. But it's all on you. It's on you. Ain't nobody's fault but yours. My chick rock with me because I'm who I'm supposed to be. If you All got right, so if you, you saying, got that gift, if you got the baddest chick in the world that did everything that she was supposed to do, you would ruin her because you're not the man you're supposed to be. You ain't built to handle that type of chick. You ain't built for it. So she's supposed to put in all of this work and she dope and she gorgeous and she cook and clean and all of this. And then what you do, what you supposed to do? What's your role? What's your role? What you mean? If I'm not part of that equation... I don't have no role What's in it. What's your what are you role? Talking about? You the leader of the household. I don't have You're, a role hold on. in that. God over man, man over man over woman, woman over child. What's your role as the leader of your household? As far as for as the man in my household, shit, I'm the security, I'm everything. I'm the cook, the clean, all that. No, Already. that's her role to cook so that's and clean. What I'm What's your role? It's, what you no, gonna do? Thing. If, if I already provide for myself. Why would I? Why would I get into something, right? Where what do you it, mean? You even become if the I priest purpose, over your own house, it's not about exactly just you. You in charge of her now. Even you have a responsibility no, to man, oversee you're not her. Not in charge of nobody but yourself. You look. Everybody has their own life to live. You nope. gotta understand that. Well, okay? then you're not. Then you you're not trying to be. You're not trying to be married. You're trying to be single. So stop trying to act like something wrong with the way married people think if you don't have the mindset to be married. It's not you. It's not them. It's you, bro. It's you. It's you. Listen, let me tell you something. This chick right here. I'm telling you. This chick right here. The old way This chick working. right here. She will follow me off a cliff if I say it's time to jump. She's already did it time and time again. If I say, yo, we moving here and... I just if told her the other day, the I just yeah. told her the other day, I say, yo, I'm thinking about moving in this direction and we cutting this whole thing off over here. She said, Anton, you think that's wise? I said, yes, this is what I'm doing. She said, okay, well, if this is what we doing, this is what we doing. We going in that direction. You know why? Because I've proven time and time again that I'm the man that I'm supposed to be. If you, what you supposed to be, they'll follow right. you. It's your fault. Right. All right. I mean, when we get done laughing so and giggling, honestly, when we get done laughing and giggling, now, our listen. circumstances don't change. You got to get. I'm yourself. going. Hold on. Listen, I, to I, I got it out the mud. Listen to yourself. I'm getting. I got it out the mud. I'm gonna get richer. I'm gonna get more successful. I'm gonna have more alignment. And here, and you know how I know it's true. Let me tell you how I know it's true. It's not just manifest reading. that. Every single woman that's in my presence, even the ones on the Lapeef Let's Talk Show, Courtney. K, they all align with me. They all are submissive to whatever it is that we say go because they believe in us. They rock with us because they know we leading them in the right direction. It's every woman in my life. Even my mother is subjective. It's, she subjects herself to what I say go. She say, Anton, what we doing? I say, this is what's going to happen. She said, okay, it's all your, it's, it's your show. Every woman in my life subjects themselves to me because they know that I'm the man I'm supposed to be. It's your fault. When we get done laughing and we get done giggling and we get done playing the game and all of this women, men stuff, 
you're going to get the results you're going to get when you take ownership of your situation. That's it, bro. In taking ownership, you mean to tell me that I have control over my whatever options I have control over, like my destiny, I have control over it completely. Like, so wait, all right. It's certain people born in a certain situations that they don't take advantage of. I understand what you're saying, but I'm not one of them people. You know what I'm saying? I can laugh at this because I know, all right, you got a platform right now that you, you know, you want to look a certain way about. But if you think about it yourself and you me? think about what I'm saying, and you understand what I'm saying, you, you, you can only be controlled up to a certain amount. Like telling me, you, you know what I'm saying? You, oh, yeah, all of this, you chose right and she chose you and she going to follow you to the death. That's cool. But we both know the original question is still valid. If you didn't have none of that, if you wasn't that guy, you get what I'm saying? She wouldn't be with you. And that's just keeping it a buck. Okay. And it's like, I'm not going to do it. You know what I mean? Make it so, oh, you know, yeah, because that's all hypothetical. And that's what I'm saying. That ideal woman, that's hypothetical. Hmm. Hypothetically speak. But these women are, if you're going to say they just out here, come on. It's not them, bro. You, know, you. you and I both know. It's you. Yeah, and I can I'm saying, I'm going to keep, I'm going to say it's me. I'm going to say, you know what? What was that book called? Invest in, um, what was that book? It's called Invent and Wander. I'm going to read it. Invent and Wander. You know what I'm saying? No, I'm going to take your advice. That I need but you to read. Time, and then we go. I got to move on to the next person. Give me that, uh, um, the, oh, shoot, where is it at? Um, can't hurt me. And hand me that other one winning up there at the top, right right on the middle. Tim Grover. Where is it? Tim, it's called winning. Yep. You read this, bro. This is what you need to read by David Goggins. And then right after that, you should read this, bro. It's called winning by Tim Grover. It's a mindset that comes along with people that are winners, bro. And they don't, they never, they never subject themselves to the mindset of how other people see them, of how other people are doing things. They move based off of what's going to get the best results. I'm results-based. I don't care about feelings. I don't care about thought. I don't care about none of that. The only thing that matters to me is winning. And winnings and winning, winners win and losers lose. That's really what it comes down to. If you got a loser mentality, you're going to get the same results. You got to change the way that you think and see things, bro. When you start to see things differently, you'll see marriage differently. When you see marriage differently, you'll start to see opportunity differently. You'll start to have people that align with you based off of the purpose and the direction that you go in, not based off of how other people and what society is doing. I determine the outcome. I don't care who president. I don't care who in office. I don't care what happens. I'm going to win regardless, bro. That's how it go. Hey, man. Hey, you R. need P. to tap DMX, in with me, man. man. Hey, send, me, send me an email, bro. Send me an email. We need to kick it, bro. On a personal level. 